Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to an updated room tour for 2014. I thought we might as well do this right at the beginning of the year, just so I can make a little stamp. This is 2014 and where my room's at. Now, quite a few things have changed, um, but the room layout hasn't. So this is my bed still, uh, which is the same bed, it's still comfy and still not really done properly. My wall vinyl, as you can see, it's, it's my bed's been centered and my wall vinyl now doesn't match up with my bed, which kind of sucks. Um, but it's not too important. So we can move back to my TV area, which has got a lot more cluttered since last time. We have my Xbox One box there. Hint, I got an Xbox One. Uh, we have a Coke Zero can there. I love Coke Zero. Um, tastes the same as normal Coke and it's healthier. Well, not healthier, but less bad for you. Um, we have my airport time capsule box, a couple of Coke uh, bottle names, a How to Think Like Steve Jobs book. It's not the autobiography, I do have that, but, um, or the biography. But it's just a, a separate book that I'm now reading even though I don't read very much. This is my Coca-Cola plane. A lot of people said, asked me where I got this from and really liked it and I don't know. It was a stocking gift from my mum, like one of the one of the like little gifts that like get put in the stocking and she doesn't remember where she got it from. So yeah, she's been scolded about that, don't worry. Um, moving along, we have the Kinect sensor for my Xbox One. A lot of people hated the fact that it's always listening and always watching. I don't really care. Um, we have my Samsung. Um, 40 inch TV, it's quite nice, I really like the TV, it's 1080p and IPS and other really nice technologies and it plays Xbox One, <laughs> I mean, of course it will but you know, I don't need anything more than that, it's 3D but I've never used it. Um, we have FIFA 14, COD Ghost and Forza 5 for the next gen consoles, we have my Xbox One controller, um, I really like this controller, it's actually nicer to hold than the last generation controller, the Xbox 360 controller, but you can't use it on PC yet. So, <laughs> moving on, we have my Turtle Beach PX5 docking station thing. This is the, the receiver, and it's hooked up with optical audio, an optical cable over there, to the back of my TV here, which is nice. We have my PX5s themselves that are just hanging there, some more Coke bottles with names on. And my 2011 MacBook Pro. This is the 2.4 gigahertz, 13 inch model, um, and it's an i5 and has a 500 gig hard drive because I had to send my SSD back. It died. Um, yeah, this is my iPhone 5s. If I just bring the focus back in, this is my iPhone 5s. Uh, quite like this phone. It's my main phone at the moment. It's got the Spigen SGP Glass TR screen protector that I did a video on, and yeah, I really like it. It's my main phone. Moving down, we have my Samsung um, TV thing. Uh, yeah, I saw a little bit. There you go. We have my Samsung 3D Blu ray player <coughs> and free view HD box, but I don't use it. Uh, I use Netflix and YouTube for all my content. Uh, my Xbox One with my Kinect sensor, obviously. We have the little play and charge kit, so this is the charger for it. My Apple TV. This is the 1080p model, the one that came out in like 2011 or so. They haven't updated it yet. We have my Orb charger for the uh, PlayStation 4, when I actually bloody get it. And my PlayStation 3 Slim, because my PlayStation 4 got delayed uh, again, which kind of sucks. Um, we have some boxes, so my GTX Lite, the 770 Lightning box, my MacBook Air box, my MacBook Pro box, my K70 box, and some posters. And up there we have uh, Rush, the poster for Rush. Uh, in an A1 frame, it's A1, it's in an A1 frame, but it's a horrible frame. I need to get a new frame for that. Um, on my other wall, facing, well, the door, we have uh, this New York skyline thing, Manhattan, anyway. Okay, so moving down, finally, before we go to um, the office room, we have my TV remote, my Apple TV remote, um, on this nice bedside cabinet that cost me quite a lot of money, more than it was meant to. Um, the HTC One, um, in this little dock thing that I put my phone in when I charge it. Um, it's a really nice phone and it's still fast uh, and still fluid and everything but I just I prefer the iPhone. I can't help it. I'm sorry, don't judge me. Uh, we have some digestives because everyone needs digestives. Um, milk buttons and everything and an old fan. I got rid of my Dyson Air multiplier. It wasn't very good. I mean, sorry but it sucked. Um, and I use this for the summer. Not that, not that often. In my drawer I've got my Beats Pro bag, lots of drugs. Um, I'm into some hardcore stuff like penicillin um, <laughs> and everything. And then down here we have boxes for all of my stuff. All my boxes. Now I just basically. wanted to add in this controller here. I didn't show on my bedside table, but this is for my little lighting uh, show thing. So as you can maybe see behind my TV set, 
there is a light being emitted. And if I go round, we can see this little box here. Let's focus back in again. We can see this little box and this LED strip that spans the back of this big TV cabinet. Now this, with this little infrared receiver and this remote, uh, will light, it lights up, in the night anyway, up the back of the wall, um, all of these nice colours. So we can have green and blue and red and orange and all of these different colours and it spans the full RGB spectrum. But in the night time it looks awesome, in the daytime it doesn't look so awesome. So I thought I'd add that in. It's very cool, it only costs about 20 quid uh, and it's one of my stocking gifts as well, which I've, I've wanted it all year but I never got around to putting 20 quid into it. <clears throat> now I have it and it looks awesome. So now we're going to move on to my office room and you can see where all the nerd happens. Moving on to my office room, we can uh, move over to the right here. This is my um, custom built PC. By custom built I mean I built it myself. <clears throat> Sitting on this extension to my desk that I made. Uh, it's very ghetto, it's literally just an extra piece of wood that came with the desk, made from the same finish. It's not exactly even as well. With a couple of planks underneath, uh, screwed on. I need to get these uh, polished in white as well to get, make it sort of look representable. Um, once I've done that, it'll look pretty awesome, and it was literally to give me a bit of extra desk space so I can have my PC on my desk, because I quite like the look of it. So here it is inside, it's the Fractal Design um, Define R4 window. We can see uh, inside all my sexy components, GTX 770 Lightning from OSI. Um, it has a core i5 3570K, overclocked 4.4 GHz with a H100i, um, AX 750 watt power supply, and if we open the door, as you can see here, we have two OCC Vector SSDs. These are both 256 gigabyte, and they are in RAID 0. So that's my uh, operating system for Windows. Okay, so sorry for that little jump cut there, but moving down next to my PC, we have the Logitech C910 HD Pro webcam. This is a um, really nice 1080p webcam, but I just don't use it for a webcam. I use it for a mic. Uh, I've yet to buy a real mic, a proper mic, so that's why my audio quality is pretty crap in some of the screen, uh, the screen captures and... Yeah, this is literally the microphone I use for everything, like Skype. We have my um, Apple Airport time capsule, 2 terabyte. I have all my movies and music on there, so people can use it through their iPhones and iPads throughout the house, which is pretty cool, and you can airplay it to any of the Apple TVs in the house. Um, we have one of my, my right channel um, speaker for my C506 Logitech speakers. Also pretty nice. I only have three set up. It's only a, a 3.1 at the moment, but yeah. Moving down to my peripherals, we have the Logitech MX Performance Mouse, and I'm using that with the wrong hand, but if I get my right hand out, as you can see, I'm a Palm user, so it fits my hand really nicely. I've yet to find a mouse that I prefer, basically, and I've had this for about four years. You can see, if you have a look, you can see that the uh, paint is beginning to be worn off the um, logos and everything. My keyboard is a Cherry MX Brown Corsair K70. I love the sound of this keyboard, it's really nice. Um, it's got like a really industrial feel and that's why I love mechanical keyboards. You see my centre channel there. And moving up, we have my two monitors. These are both 1080p monitors. One is an LG uh, 23EA63V. Um, and it's basically an IPS monitor, full 1080p, and it's just amazing. Compare that to my old monitor, which I have as a secondary monitor now, the Acer uh, GR235H. And this looks like crap in comparison. Look at the contrast difference. Um, so I have my portal background. I really like this background. It's, it's really nice. And yeah, this is my new monitor. I, I have ordered another one of these. They should be coming soon, but it keeps getting delayed. So I didn't want, really want to wait until it came to make this video. I'll make an update. Um, then moving down, we have my Coke Zero can. We have some names on them that I'm not going to show you. Um, my Beats by Dre Pros. They're a present. Just don't hate me. Um, and... As you can see my Galileo thermometer there, as well as my uh, left channel speaker. Sorry about the little jump thing there. So there you go, this is my room, sorry for that big crunch there. This is my office. You've seen both my office and my bedroom now, and I'm pretty proud of this. So, like I said, my extension panel, that's not exactly great yet. Uh, there's my subwoofer for the, the speakers, but I'm pretty proud of this. All of this up here looks really nice and clean under there, and not so clean, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm not very consistent, so Feel free to subscribe. I'm I can't really promise videos every like week or so, but I do get them up whenever I can. I try and make them the best I can when they do go up. I've also got a nice picture up there. I thought I'd show you that. Nice bit of canvas and also some pictures up here too. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching it. 
and I will hopefully see you in the next one if you feel nice enough to subscribe.